Well, breathe a sigh of relief. Today marks the end of hurricane season, and it's been a mild one for South Florida. We like that. So what does that mean, though, for our future hurricane seasons? Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer is here to talk about it. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, Craig, because although it was calm, we went through the list of names. Explain that for yeah, us. Yeah, we went through the list of names, and what we always say is it's a busy hurricane season if you get hit, right? Because if all the storms are out at sea and don't hit you, then it's really not that bad of a hurricane season. But from a record point of view, it was a above average season, the third most active year on record, set back to 1851, and it exhausted the names for two years in a row now. We made it all the way to W. So normal and average season is 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. We had 21 named storms, seven hurricanes, four major hurricanes. So from a hurricane and major hurricane perspective, it was near average. We just had a lot of storms out there and a lot of hybrid storms, which were kind of a combination. Now we did have some close calls. There was L so this came at us in early July, around July 4th, and uh, gave basically the keys of some tropical storm gusts and did threaten the west coast of Florida. On top of that, there was Fred. Fred was in the middle of July, and Fred suffered from a lot of land disruption. Of course, we always welcome that uh, system that's disrupted by land. It ended up in the northern Gulf. There were two big events, though, for the season in terms of landfalls. There was Henri. Henri sputtered around out here and then headed to the north and made landfall in parts of New England. And then it was followed right behind with Ida. Ida strengthened to a major hurricane, made landfall near Orleans, near New Orleans. And then the remnants came up to the northeast and created a tremendous amount of flooding. So what's going on? Well, we're in La Nina conditions. and. Typically, La Nina conditions support an active hurricane pattern. So what about next spring and next summer? We honestly don't know because we need to know the state of the ocean, El Nino or La Nina, before we can predict how busy the hurricane season is going to be. So we won't know anything probably until next spring. So I say enjoy the off season. We deserve it. Back to you. We certainly do, Craig. Thanks a lot.